Man, I hope uh, Raider Trader delivers here. We've had no more hyped guest uh, than Raider Trader coming through today. I'm excited to have reached out to him, and thank you so much uh, for him coming through. Trust me, it will be good. Uh, okay, here we go, man. What a way to end the day, man. NVIDIA, Moon, Apple, let's go. We were long. Santa Claus Rally, you could see there. We intact, baby. The Santa Claus Rally continues up today, and we get that great news from Apple. Apple today, uh, again, you know, a pause on that injunction. Let's see what happens. I want to first of all say a big shout out to everybody that's here with me. You're now rocking with the best. This is Traders Stay Late. It's now four o'clock. Let's go over some of these sectors. I'm a little bit hyped up. We had some great runs there today. We had some great trades. Tesla was a banger off the open. Um, kind of wish we would have just taken a vacation at about 10 o'clock when that trade was over. But there was still a lot of good names there. We made a little bit of money into the close. So that was good. We didn't finish at our highest spot. I was showing you guys some back and forth trades there today. But we finished pretty close uh, to the highest level of the day for ourselves. Hey, look, today, USO, what's up with that? Oil dropping back in. One of the only red sectors today, USO, right? Oil, XLE, USO, um, downside. Again, worries today, guys, a lot of worries about the Red Sea, right? We've had some of the Houthi, I think, uh, attacks in the Red Sea, not great. The US does not want to get involved with Iran, right? So that's, that's the thing. Hopefully that can settle down and we'll see some pressures back in. Normally, obviously, as you get some pressure in the Red Sea, that would cause a supply issue, right? Demand's not really changing, so I'm surprised a little bit today with some of that talk that USO was actually down that 2%. That's a sector to look at. Um, anyways, that's what's happening right now in oil prices. A um, little bit of a surprise. TLT continues to work to the upside, man. The Treasury, look at this. Um, the number, it's not even a sector. We just have it up here to watch out, right? A lot of people sitting on cash, maybe park their money um, into a T-bond or a T-bill, sorry, or into a bond, something like that, some kind of fixed income. You could see it's really, really worked out over the last little while as rates, of course, fluctuating daily. That's the TLT. I really like the IBB. Oh, check out this. So I actually have a new feature here. Shout out to Trade Ideas. Look at this. Watch this. So I'm going to go to configure, and I've set this all up. So if you want it, you know, maybe I'll give it to you. You can ask Michael Noss for this setup as well. But look at this. I go to symbol lists, and in here, I have all of the sectors, right? I'm probably missing some I did in the middle of the day. Uh, there's healthcare. So if I just say okay to that, let's just get off of it, push it back, push okay, right? Push okay again. All of a sudden, the leaders in the XLV will show up right here. So you could see today Moderna up 3.49%. So let's do that again. Watch this. Configure, right? And we're going to go to symbol lists. Hey, let's see what's going on with oil today. Hopefully I have it. There it is, XLE. Now you can put different ones in here. There's XLE. Push a K, push OK again. And there you go, Marathon. Down 1.4%, or sorry, M piece marathon right there, Mar two marathons. Uh, petroleum and oil right there, both down Schlumberger, Halliburton, Valero. So this really lets us see all the names that are potentially dragging said indexes down, right? Let's do that one more time and see what was leading the way in the XLK, right? Let's have a quick look to see what was going on in NASDAQ land as technology leads the way. There it is right there, so we get rid of XLE. Now let's see what the names were in this. Uh-oh, we knew that. It's AMD up 1.85% today, followed by Intel, Cisco. Cisco's an interesting name. We did have a drip down in Cisco on earnings. Might be something to look out for it. All right, who are the big losers? Fortinet uh, and maybe well, FFIV. Let's find out. Um, I thought that was CrowdStrike. I was wondering about Pan W as we go ahead and see what the losers are there in the technology sector. But there's the IBB. There's not going to be really... This is biotech, so Moderna is going to be in this as well. I really like healthcare and biotech moving forward. I think there's a lot of potential in this space. We talked about it. I'm getting older. We're all getting a little bit older. I like the space. As rates start to flip, you know, back into the positive side for retail and for smaller businesses, a lot of those biotech. So let's go with that one as that's coming through as well. SPX, right, the SPY. We're talking about that hitting all-time highs. Now, you know, 
it depends on what you're looking at. If you're looking at the cash markets or if you are looking at an ETF like the SPY, I actually see the SPY highs in and around here, 478.75. So that's kind of like the 52 week high as we push it, 476, 477. So we're right there right now. Congratulations, anybody that withheld any kind of these dips. We had a monster dip, and not monster, it was down 10% there in, uh, whoa, oh had a heart attack there. I thought I dropped this mic. Woo, and then it was going to drop my water. But you know what? Who's over there? Let's go with Hydration Nation. Too much pressure. Raider Trader coming. I'm going to move this screen so I can see what he's talking about when he's logged in uh, right now. But there's SP uh, Spider ETF to the upside. You know what's interesting to me? KRE. Um, I was looking at this again. Of course, these are the regionals, right? Um, I, can I do like this and see what's in it? No, I'm going to put, I don't think I have KRE. Uh, but we know what's in there. The regional banks, um, again, bouncing off of, look what that is. Looky, looky. It's the 200 period on the daily, right? So this is a very, very key level. Um, if you are along the regional banks, I don't... I'm not saying to lighten up, but there could be something here. They're in, bumping it up. We've seen the banks, JP Morgan up to 168. Financials really, really rocking. And look at the KRE, huge move to the downside. We, of course, got absolutely destroyed uh, when we were down into here talking about PacWest and First Republic, Western Alliance, uh, when we had Silicon Valley Bank absolutely fall on their face and then, of course, rescued. So, um, no, rescued. I mean, obviously, the shares weren't rescued as that was bankrupt. Uh, right then, there are $36, and we retouched that in October. So, again, KRE nicely done. And if you're looking at other uh, banks, there's another bank ETF. I was telling Sharifa it today. It's X. Is it, it's not XBC, but there is an X uh, uh, one there, shares that I like that aren't so heavily weighted. But look at S, uh, XLF, heavily weighted in JP Morgan and some of the major names. So if you're on those banks, look at this move upside, right? Don't worry about picking a bank. You can just pick this ETF, that is XLF, as that continues to fly high as well. Let's just do a quick little roll call. See who's here. All right, right now, who's in the building right now? I want to thank everybody for watching. I mean, this is a holiday week, right? And there's not even, we had maybe five traders in today, maybe a little bit more on the floor. No OB, no Max, no, I don't know, five or six guys in. And right now we have 2,500 watching. So I want to say thank you so much to you guys. Let's do a roll call, man. Where else are you going to get this? What's up to Crazy Stitch Lady, man? Thank you for all your positivity on the, on the chat for me. It uh, means a lot. Uh, what's up to the Salty Bear? Yo, what's up, Mr. Kelsey? Chris J is here as well. Paulie D is in the building. Jim uh, Tan Laundry. Jim Tan Laundry? Jim Tan Laundry? I might be right. Uh, what's up to Paul E.D. right there? I know it's uh, from D's fames. What's up to Trey Only, Charles, Mr. Duckets, James Dell, Mole Farr is here, Richie Lee is here, Michael Lloyd, and I want to say a shout out to everybody who's out there raising a family, man. That's what it's all about. And I just only talk about this because my wife's sending more videos of my daughter. I'm so proud of everybody. And then my son, also Baxter, is in funding round right now. He's 22, tw actually he's 21, turning 22. And he's in university, been picked up by some VCs. And I'm super proud of him. I cannot wait to talk about his business once uh, I can do that live here on the show. I mean, I'll do whatever I want, but I, I want to wait to see uh, on that one. But I'm very, very proud of everything everybody He's doing my son just won chess as well so shout out to him his very first time entering a chess league he took that down going 11 and 4 i'm very very proud of all of this and honestly this is why i do this job like when when we're looking for an, an after show host i'll do it the podcast we're gonna be i came in on the day off to film the pod by the way i hope everybody likes the podcast that was i thought that was a good one uh our last and we're gonna be it's our best one so far, he says. Let's go. Thank you so much uh, for that. I mean, you know what? The funny thing is, I was driving in, and I was like, the podcast, I, I, I know what I'm going to talk about, but I always worry about, like, throwing in these little quips and stuff like that. That's what makes it fun for me. You know, not just talking about, oh, we could sit here and talk about, oh, AMD's going up. I love the chip names, this and that. It, sometimes it's about talking and being real, and that's why I'm trying to be with you guys. Trading is extremely difficult, okay? Well, I'm sitting here 22 years. Okay, I've seen thousands of traders come through and maybe a couple hundred at most make it. 
I feel like 10% maybe on a prop floor is successful, number may be lower, but in the history of trading, just ask ChatGPT what percent of day traders are successful. Now, obviously, you're going to get back and forth. There's a lot of education out there, but right now, you're rocking with the best, and it's Trader TV Live. Join me, Neil, Sharif, Adara every single day, live right now, and we wouldn't be able to do it without those two over there, so a big shout out to both Fabian and Ramina as we just keep on going, and of course, Miss Cat is back in the building as well. What's up to BJ? and everybody right here. Um, yeah, I was interviewed by um, B the Trader. You guys might know who that guy is, B the Trader. You can go find, uh, he interviewed me as well. And Benzinga Pro, uh, we have an interview uh, with that. But you know what? Benzinga Pro, Trader TV Live, you know. Uh, anyways, I didn't say which one was which. Uh, shout out to Benzinga, who is also, or oh, maybe I shouldn't talk too, too negatively. I'm not at all. Uh, Benzinga Pro sponsoring. Trader TV Live. Uh, and I use the Benzinga Pro platform, so you're not going to miss anything. It's just, it's too bad that we don't have earnings right now uh, because we'd be going over those as they start to hit. But hey, we went over some sectors. We went over Sector Watch. I don't know what else you guys want to look at here. The real, um, real, it's not real estate, sorry. XRT is the retail ETF. Nice move again. And look at some of these things on the daily chart. A lot of these names getting extended, right? So a lot of extension happening. And look at GLD, man. Uh, gold just keeps on breaking highs. There it is right now, taking it out. Celebrate, man. Anybody that's into gold, big time trading happening right now. But look at the banks. I'm under capitalized on some of these banks. Look at JP Morgan top to bottom, everybody. 140, 134, and there, how many red candles? I always screw this up. I never know how to zoom back and forth on this. You know what, maybe if I maximize this, uh, it'll be a little bit easier. How many red, there we go. How many red candles do we even see here um, since the 27th? I mean, one, two, I'm not gonna count all that. Three, four, so maybe four red candles in two months. You know, this name continues to work. Look at Wells Fargo. You know what? I'm not going to hate the player or the game in this situation, but Wells Fargo was down here at $39. We know this is a big holding for Warren and company. Look at this continue to go up. You know another name that we all could have bought? The most heavily owned bank in Berkshire was Bank of America. It came right into 2627, gave you all the opportunities to buy it down here. Pop goes the weasel back up to the upside for BAC. All right, quick little look to see if anything's moving here in the aftermarket. And again, we just run this. This is from Trade Ideas, and these are called races. They're two minute races. You know what? I'm going to actually extend these races a little bit longer. Uh, but right now, I'm not really seeing anything moving uh, in the after hours. So probably a little bit of slowness happening. One name that I know everyone wants to look at is Bets. This is, again, it's up to one and a half cents. So that was a nice mover today. Over 2 billion shares on Bets. Ooh, look at this. I'm in the top corner now. I like. Uh, so that's Bets today. Nice move as that gets crushed. The name that I'm really excited about, we've been buying some dips, but again, still undercapitalized, is going to be underexposed, not undercapitalized, is going to be Roblox uh, right now. Nice move. Look at how juicy this one looks. I bet you my guy there, Raider Trader, uh, probably. My kids love Roblox. This guy's a little younger. Although, you know what? I know I probably look a little bit younger than Raider Trader, but I guarantee you he's younger. Uh, he's he, he looks really young. So, uh, but anyway, shout out to this guy. The reason why we have him back on is this, this show is about real, right? Like where's, where's that book? It's over there, but we have Brian Shannon, 300,000 followers, you know, has authored two books. JC Peretz has been on many different podcasts and, and does his own as well. Well known um, in NYSE. Crypto Birdman, Adrian Zadunchuk, over eight, 900,000 followers on crypto, right? Um, huge guy, 30 under 30. Uh, Adrian Zadunchuk been on the show. Tomorrow, Kevin O'Leary back. He's gonna be on the main show though, Ramin probably be on this show though. Uh, he'll be back there. We'll talk about his year in review and whatnot. I'm going to ask him about crypto. Find out about that. I want to know if Andrew trades crypto as well. Let me know when Raider Trader is ready and we will call on him. Roblox going to be, you know, this is a new segment we could come up with. I have a few interesting new segments. Uh, I want to do like a dad joke one. I think that would be pretty funny. Um, and then what about this right here at $47? Tomorrow's trade Today, that's what we're going to be talking about uh, moving forward. Roblox is tomorrow's trade. 
Come over to the screen quickly if you can, Fabian, one second. It's darkness. We've got darkness on the screen. Uh, right there, okay. Look at this, $47. If we break your breaker on this one, all I want to do, all I want for Christmas is you. Did you know that Mariah Carey broke the single day Spotify streaming record for all I want for Christmas? That she's just bank. You want to talk about someone that's making a lot of money. Hold on a second, I'm just got to take a drink. Hydration Nation. Look, what we're looking for on Roblox tomorrow, all I want for Christmas is a Roblox upgrade. If someone comes tomorrow with some good stats and Roblox gets upgraded and we take down this 47, we mooning, baby. I like Roblox right there uh, to come in for tomorrow. All right. Oh, here we go. Next topic. Uh, we just forgot to switch this. S&P all-time highs, the Santa Claus rally. Look, I'm only really concerned with it. We talked about the NASDAQ average Santa Claus rally return, 2.7% over the last five trading days. Look what's happening right now. QQQ. Let's go over to that and look at the NASDAQ. Nice upside move. And look, man, we're breaking highs. So you know it's a good day. The Santa Claus rally continues as the NASDAQ up 0.2. So far, the average move in the last five days on the S&P 500 is 1.7%, 27 for the triple Qs. Look, man, I'm really super excited. I see what you're getting loaded up there, uh, Andrew. We're going to talk about CME. I think there are going to be some rate cuts next year. And guess what? It's not even a Fed pivot, man. The Fed told us what they're doing. And now they've hit that 2%, not really on inflation, but we're coming back into that. I'm going to talk to Andrew all about that. Let me know when we are ready uh, to call on Andrew right now. But he's ready. He's ready. All right, it's the debut of a new guest. He's on, he's on the recap show. This is prime time for you, Andrew. Get ready, it's Trader Talk, let's go. Sean! Okay, okay, I did not see this coming. Now we're in, we're in a suit. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Andrew, I forgot to tell you something, my guy. You cannot look better than me or else there could be a problem. So I know Hands you're in the- Hands are in the air, Sean, hands are in the air. I like that. Hands are in the air like we don't care. What, what do you got, what, what are you wearing on those over the head ear, headphones there? Why, why so don't you? These are just some uh, Razer headphones I picked up. The last ones uh, I threw across the room. I, I like that. But uh, we, we got replacements, so. Did you throw it across the room due to a trade? Unfortunately, yes. And it turns out headphones don't survive uh, brick walls very well, so. I, I, like, I like that tie there. That, that's really nice. I, you, thank you, look, thank you. Yep, you're yep. looking really sharp, man. You got everything. got the <laughs> vest on under there. What are you, going to a wedding? What's going no, on? I, I got the three-piece. I got the three-piece. I had some, uh, I thought it was time to grow up. I was, uh, you know, just rocking the tie, the bow tie, and the dress shirt, but it was, it was getting to the age where I decided, yep, got to grow up. It's Sweet not man. fun anymore. Sweet, man. Well, I'm glad to have you back. Look, man, I'm all about energy and I know you have that and then honestly it's about talking to the people and I think you and I big social media presence and I think it's just about trading for real right it's like putting on positions and actually making an income trading you know and I think that that's really the most important thing do you want to spend maybe a minute I don't want to go too long just give a little bit of background about yourself maybe how you got started into trading and what you're up to these days before we talk more about yeah. action yeah uh, for sure so I just started getting trading uh, I was really an academic kid growing up uh, you know straight A student not that that's a flex high school is pretty easy for a lot of people uh, very good parents they bought me into the, the you know they the taught me to do well in school and I always wanted to be a doctor so I thought and then eventually I found myself uh, at home not wanting to watch doctor YouTube videos or anything so I kind of had a pivot in my life of where I didn't know what I wanted to do anymore all right and so I met a few individuals from uh, the West Coast okay. and they have been helping me ever since uh, they offered to put me under their wing and raise me in a professional environment when I was very young I used to go with them uh, every summer go out there and, and learn from them uh, the entire summer and then come back so uh, that's where I am now doing that stuff remotely with them and they continue to uh, help me out we've you know you've heard of them probably they've made a, a funny few donations before just to make fun of me but uh <laughs> yeah so their names are zach and uh, wes and they've taught me a lot and i give all credit to my knowledge today to them so all right cool um yeah thanks for that i just want to give everyone a yeah. little bit of a background there i think it's very very important that we do that uh okay so you're very chilled out right now you're very laid back and relaxed do you want to talk about a trade? Did you have any trades on today or is this sort of a quiet period right now? I feel like volume is kind of there, but we're just kind of drifting right now. For me, it's a little less on the share size, but I still think there's opportunities. What were you looking at today? So, Sean, 
if you want to look at my screen here, I got a. I do. You know, the trust me, bro, is a famous saying that we happened to say last October for you veterans in this chat room. Uh, the trust me, bro, was talking about the October pivot. This was something I came on multiple times, and I even gave a date to Tuesday. Unfortunately, that was the technical bottom, not the liquidation bottom. So today, we're going to talk about just briefly. I know a lot of traders they get, oh, what is this? I don't like line charts. I like candlestick charts. But I'm going to show you both. And I'm going to show you why today I'm going to call what I believe to be the top of the markets coming very soon. Now, uh oh, first, yep, yep, yep. This is going to be a trust me, bro, Sean. Oh I, no, I, I come on up. here and I do it big time. So I first want to look at a few data. So right now, the Fed basis points, we're at around 5.34%. And based off these charts right here, if you can see these, around March, they're predicting 75% chance and 75% chance for May that we cut. Now, right. I would be a fool to think this is true. I think they're going to throw in a little bit of spice. And why do I think that? Well, this is going to be a trust me, bro, because I've studied this and, and I have guys that help me Yo. prepare for these things. Now... What do I think is going to happen? I think end of February, the last two weeks of February, there's going to be a surprise liquidity event. Now, I don't know what this liquidity event is. The last liquidity event is the Silicon Valley Bank. So that was the last, if you want to refer to that as a liquidity event. There's going to be something that blows up. We don't care what. It could be crypto. It could be in the real estate market. It could be in the financial markets. It could be something. But what it's going to do is force the feds to make a surprise emergency meeting cut and I believe that this will happen in the last two weeks of February. Now, me as a trader, I'm going to look to get in for my swing trades. Again, this is just my opinions after January 19th, because I believe the market makers will have the least resistance to the downside after all that money expires. So that's it. That's all I have to say um, as far as that. And there's a lot of data to back this. So what, um, what was the date? What was the date that we're looking at? So after January 19th, I believe that this is when I'm going to start positioning. Okay. But I believe in February, last two weeks of February, there's going to be a liquidity event somewhere in there in February. And that is going to cause around a 6 to 8% decline in the market. Uh oh um, from, oh, Paolo's calling. Paolo's calling. He, want, he wanted to, he wanted to make up. sure. Uh, hello. hello, Jerome. Yeah, I'll deal with this kid. Don't worry. All right. So uh, right there. No, just having fun. You know what, Andrew? Actually, me and you hadn't talked about this. I had no idea that you were calling this. But I actually on the show, surprisingly or not, I was saying mid-January, I felt like, and again, part of what we're talking about, thank you so much, uh, that... I thought there was going to be a little bit of a dump. So I've been raising some cash. I've been selling every day. It's like I sell and the stock goes up and I'm like, what am I doing? But you got to get into some cash. And I do like that play for sure. Um, all right. Now, what are you holding? So again, I don't want to, I don't need to know all your positions or anything like that. Oh, yeah. Is there something that is setting up for you into the new year, either on a short as an individual name or in a long that maybe we can swing into that January 19th? Is there something over the next couple of weeks that, that our viewers could say, hey, this is something that Andrew's looking at. Let's see why he's doing it. Let's get maybe a call on something. I've been looking at oil. I'm a little bit uncertain about oil right now because of all the action, obviously, in the Middle East and mm -hmm. whatnot. We talked about that. That's a little too volatile for me. But give me something that you're looking at. Yeah, so uh, definitely a lot of names that I'm looking at. Uh, one that I am is definitely lithium. This one's going to be really hot. Um, no pun intended. Lithium batteries stay cool, so don't think they burn or anything. But uh, as far as lithium, this is going to be a really good one. I think the EV space is going to do really well and catch a bid here into uh, earlier this year. Now, this is going to be a development like that's going to happen this year into the early year and then later next uh, this later this year now that, well, 2024, it's not the new year yet. Uh, but I believe lithium is going to get one. That is ticker LIT, and an additional one is LAC. Now, I think LIT is the better trade. Uh, it's just more broad-based, and so I like that one a little more. Uh, but LIT is going to be the name I'm looking at uh, for the early part of this year. So that's kind of the longer-dated swing. Again, yep. not a day trade. Maybe not everyone's cup of tea, but, uh, yeah, that, that's what I'm going to be. And then also, I wasn't supposed to tell you guys this, but Roblox as well. Sean, I knew you were looking at that one. I mean, you like Roblox for the long? I, I love Roblox, yes. 
Dude, really? like, honestly, like, my 11-year-old, my 9-year-old, every month, 15 bucks comes off the credit card, <laughs> just goes right into those Robux, and uh, then we play some Brookhaven, we play all these different games, uh, and Robux continues to work. I love that break of 47. Is there anything maybe that you can add to that? Um, I just think it's a nice top break. We had a beautiful bottom down there near 30 bucks, and we sort of saw the smiley face group all the way back up, bounced off that 250, and now it's smooth sailing. Give me something that I don't know about Roblox. Yeah, so if you want to share my screen here, uh, a little principle for you guys, traders, if you're new or you're not, um, you should know this, that a lot of times there's this principle called what I call watering hole principle. So whenever you have a liquidity level, and in that case, it's the liquidity level from around right here. Wait, let me get my little zone here. So we have this zone right here. This zone right here has been tagged multiple times. And the reason I call it watering hole principle is the more times a zone is tagged, right. the more that liquidity or the water in that zone is drained. And so therefore, what do you notice when we come steaming back into this area? Well, you expect sellers, but what do you notice? There isn't a high amount of selling happening. And so what you can see here is that there is little to no action left right. in that and they're forced to go to the next watering hole. So I believe that is going to be to the upside and we'll at least get a bid up to, you know, 49, somewhere around there, so. All right, well, if you don't uh, trust Radar Trader on Roblox, trust me, bro, I like it as well. <laughs> uh, okay, man, look, you're looking dapper. Unfortunately, your time is up. Uh, we gotta go, so it's only 10 minutes. I wanna thank you. Andrew, where are you going? Promise me, no, it's not, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, 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 I was making my exit now, my bad, my bad. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, all right. <laughs> Who is this guy? Uh, no, but we're having a lot of fun. I want to thank you for coming on. Promise me you'll come back. Oh, I'll come back. Sean, I will come crawling back. Miles, if I have to. I like it, man. Enjoy enjoy New Year's Eve. I hope, I, I don't, people are asking if you're old enough to drink. I'm going to say you probably are. So shout, shout out to you uh, and everybody over there. Enjoy, enjoy your New Year's Eve. And uh, New we'll, Year's, guys. We'll, we'll see you back in the new year. That's Raider Trader. Thank you, Andrew. Peace, guys. Peace. That's it. Here we go. Delivering again. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I think those are great names. I want to thank Andrew for bringing that to my attention about lithium. That L-I-T. I like it. That was a good one. Thank you uh, for that. Oh, I forgot to mention where you can find him. Um, Raider Trader. Just Google it. He's big on Instagram. I believe also on TikTok. And I think... If you just rewind the back, we can put it on the, there it is right there, um, on X and on Instagram, the best places, and then that will tr take you everywhere. Just go on X, Raider Trader, I'm following him, so that's how you will know. But hey, let me see, what did you guys think in the chat? Did you like Andrew? Uh, it doesn't really matter, I did, so that's good enough. Right there, what's up to Evolve? What the hell? There it is right there. Thank you so much, $500. It's a $500 super chat that I missed. There we go. Thank you so much to Evolving Finance right there. Does Raider, Raider, oh, I'll have to ask next week. I'll have to ask next week. Is he still on? I'll ask him. I'll ask him right now if he's still on. Does he have a girlfriend, wife, boyfriend? I'm not, I'm not trying to discriminate. Whatever this dude has, if he's still on uh, right there, it's fine. Hey, look. Bring him up. Bring this kid on right now. You know, you're not going to super chat five bills and, and get away with this. Uh, hey. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, Sean. What? Got me red-handed. Well, was... no, I mean, thank you so much. Someone asked a question, <laughs> my guy. So here we go. You, right, you can, request, you can plead question, the fifth. Sean. You know, we're Canadian here. We don't have the fifth. <clears throat> you okay, know what I, I do, mean? I do, I do have a freedom of speech. I will exercise that today. I do have a girlfriend, and her name is <clears throat> Good. I like Stunk that. Queen. Stunk Queen. You can find her on Instagram, Kirsten. Aww. Her name is Kirsten, but she goes under the tag Stunk Queen. So this was... Um, what is this, Tinder? It, it's, it was stock market Tinder, yes. No, I mean, what are we doing right now? Like, uh... Oh, no, no, no. I mean, Sean, so personally... Yep, anyway, so I have a girlfriend. That's no, that's like... great. Thank you, Raider Trader. Thank yep. you so much uh, for the super chats. And uh, with stuff like that, yeah, you can come back daily, my guy. Uh, no, but thank you. <laughs> thank Sean, you. Sean, I'm going to be on this till 8 p.m. So if you have any other, just drag me back, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, Andrew. And again, thank you so much for everything, man. You definitely put a smile on my face today. So that's Raider Trader. Go find him on X. Go find him on Instagram. That's my guy right there. Thank you so much. And so much, so much. Thanks uh, for... Hey, here's Stonk Queen right here. I don't know. I think something's up with this. I, this is a little fishy to me, but there, there she or he is. What's up? Shout out. Um, look, man, it just means a lot to us that we share uh, such a positive community. So once again, thank you so much. All right. Um, we're running short on time, but we still got a little bit of time left. 
So let's go over uh, to my Twitter handle and let's go over Sean's tweets because why not? Uh, right there. Go check it out. Hey, Andrew, if you're still watching, man, you want some content? The best podcast has been released. Episode 6 uh, right now. What's up, Neil? Uh, here we go right now. Oh, by the way, we're also live on X. Is that true? Yeah, we're live streaming on X. Okay, that's good. Uh, all right, here we go. I thought this was pretty interesting here. As tomorrow we've got on Kevin O'Leary, and I'm going to talk to him about cash flow. He always says, he goes, Sean, you got to say cash flow. So I'm going to say that to him tomorrow uh, right now. But let's, um, let's get this off my face just for a minute. I just want to talk about the largest companies ranked by revenue. So again, this doesn't necessarily mean you got a lot of cash on hand, but the more revenues you bring in in this environment, probably the better it's going to be, right? We want to have companies that are making money, right? Especially if we are worried about that, these rate cuts and everything coming through. Let's go. Walmart, cash cow, let's go. It's retail. Notice this, a lot of retail. Berkshire, come on, that's not really a company, is it? Oh, I guess it is. Apple there, UNH, CVS, XOM, uh, Shell. So again, a lot of these are going to be old hand companies besides Amazon, but you're going to see some new ones, Toyota Motors in there and Google. So I just want to talk about that. If you're looking for some investments and you're looking for large cash positions, Walmart, not bad if you don't have any retail exposure. And this is one that honestly... Oh yeah, control, let's well, shout out to Ramin. Control plus, 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 there it is. Or, shut up Fabian, I know I can use the wheel there. I'm so, I'm so bad. Uh, but look at this, 10 largest stocks in the S&P 500 contributed to 75% of the SP, right? So the thing is, is that don't we already know that? Like, sure, it's extended, but look what happened in 2020. It's the same thing, 59%. In 2019, it was 53% against 32, against 18, against 29, against negative 18, right? There's 24% versus 75. So sure, we are outsized to the upside. But for me, it's all the same stuff. It's like we trust these big companies, and that's why I want to talk about cash. Microsoft, Google, Apple, all these companies that are heavily weighted in the SPX, it's going to continue. Look at JP Morgan. These trends are not going anywhere. That's why my pick for the new year, stay the damn course, man. Keep dollar cost averaging in. Wait for potential economic moves. I liked what Raider Trader was saying. I am on the same page. You guys know that. We've been talking about a dip in January. Let's wait. The 19th is the Fed rate. We'll see what happens, possibly moving down lower into the end of the month and into February. Look, thank you so much for everything today. We've already done a roll call, but you know what? It's my show. We'll do it again. All right, roll call time. And then we got to get out of here. And then I got to say what's up to my wife uh, and all of that. Oh, shoot. Where did I put the chat? Wow. I, first of all, it, the roll call is not complete without another one for this guy right here. Shout out to Raider Trader and everybody that he's working with because that 500, man, that means a lot. They, well, I mean, means a lot for sure. It just shows that, hey, you know what? out there. There's money. There's realness. Thank you for supporting the show. We'll get a few new chairs around here and all that kind of stuff. But here we go. Raider Trader is right here. Shout out. What's up to my guy? Shout out to Raider Trader. Shout out to Noah. Shout out to Bears vs. Bulls, the best moderator in the damn business. What's up, Lethargic? I hope I'm not that for you. What's up to Big Pay Dave? What's up? Trading P is in the building. Four Profits here. The Salty Bear is in the building. Thank you so much to the Crazy Stitch Lady. Means a lot. What's up to D Westermeyer? How the hell are you so amazing? Uh, hey, Hey, this is why I'm doing this, man. I love doing this for everybody. We're also trying to get the likes and the push-up. We want to grow the community. Only 440,000 subscribers. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Let's get going. Look, thank you so much for watching. It's definitely meant a lot uh, to me today. Crypto, we'll talk about that tomorrow on the show. Bitcoin continues to rally. Some of those altcoins have been really, really huge again. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you to our guest today, man. We had Alfred on the Midday Show. I want to thank him for talking about value investing. I want to thank the finest dressed man on YouTube as well. Shout out to Andrew Rader. Thank you so much for wearing that. That was awesome. And thanks for the super chats as well. And thank you for some of those tips. I'm going to be looking at lithium now. I actually forgot about it. I'm not in it. So thank you for that one. Um, uh, look, big show, big show. It's not going to stop, man. Tomorrow's Thursday, followed by Friday. And guess what? As long as we're here, we're doing this damn show. Friday's podcast day. Tomorrow, the market recap. We're super excited. Thank you so much. I'm losing my damn voice right now. I, I, you know what? I got to get that Apple um, setting where it actually can track how many words you say. Then when I go home and fall asleep, my wife will understand why. Thank you so much for watching. I'm coming home. Shout out to everybody. I hope everyone's having a happy holiday. Have some rum and eggnog. Let's go. Tomorrow's a new day. Thank you for watching.
I like 